Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about MSX, Nintendo Switch, Laserdisc, SNES, Linux, and more. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about Laserdisc emulation with Hipsu Singe. I probably butchered that. This emulator is a fork of Dolphin, and it just got a brand new update, version 2.10.2. One of the big changes for this update is the addition of support for bezels. If you wanted to use bezels with this, you absolutely can. You can even take screenshots with the bezels in full screen mode. Next up, we're talking about MSX emulation in your browser with FutureDisk, and FutureDisk just got a brand new update. They've added in a brand new game here, S.A.K. Stab and Kill. If you are curious about this one and wanted to check it out, you absolutely can. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. It is 100% free and it also works on mobile. Moving on and we're talking about a game you might never have heard of. It's called Shockman Zero and it's on the SNES. This is a ROM hack, an English translation of the game. And if you've never played it before, you might want to check this one out. I'll drop a link in the description below. It's an action platformer. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm a massive fan of translations. I've got a whole bunch of SFC games where I've got no idea what the characters are saying, so it's nice to be able to actually understand the story and find out what's going on. And speaking about what's going on, next up we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation with Ryujinx, and Ryujinx just got a brand new update. Version 1.1.599 has just dropped, and this one fixes some multi-game collections that would crash after launching one of the games. If you've got some multi-game collections, you might want to check out this version. Next up, we're still talking about Nintendo, kind of, with Pretendo. Pretendo is a free and open source alternative to Nintendo Wii U and 3DS servers, and it's Pretendo's birthday. So in celebration of this birthday, or anniversary rather, Pretendo has a really neat announcement. They are introducing Pretendo Game Night. All of these will be ran on the Pretendo network to show what Pretendo can do with large amounts of people. Like for instance, tournaments. For the first game night, they'll be playing a classic from the Wii U, Mario Kart 8. If you wanted to learn more about this, I'll drop a link to their Discord in the description below and feel free to check it out and join the community. Moving on and we're still talking about Nintendo, actual Nintendo, and Nintendo just rolled out this brand new program for Switch games called the Game Voucher. You can pick up two game vouchers for a total of $99.98 USD and that gets you two Switch games. It's actually not too bad of a deal if you think about it because you can pick up two games here that are priced over 50 bucks each and save some money overall. They used an example here of Splatoon 3 at 60 bucks and Breath of the Wild at 60 bucks. And instead of paying 120 bucks, you pay 99.98. There are a few catches though. This only applies to digital games. You do have to be a Nintendo Switch Online member, and you have to use the vouchers within, I think it's a year of purchasing them. So if you're interested in this, it might be a deal worth checking out. You might save a few bucks on Nintendo Switch Premium titles that rarely go on sale. Next up, we're quickly talking about FPPS4. And thanks to Kimmy G, there's a brand new package editor here that you might be interested in if you're interested in FPPS4. This package editor does have a progress bar. And Kimmy G says there are some more features that are going to be added. If you are curious about this one, like everything else I talk about, I'll drop a link to it in the description below. My news is basically open source. Next up, we're talking about one of my favorite little handhelds, the Ambernic 35XX. Thanks to Team Black Serif, this handheld keeps getting better and better. Garlic OS version 1.0.0 just released. In my opinion, Garlic OS is an absolute must if you have one of these devices. A lot of work has gone into this operating system to optimize it, increase performance, and have things pretty much pre-configured right out of the box. A ton of stuff has been done on this one and it's an amazing OS. And speaking about an amazing OS, next up we're talking about a Linux OS here, Elementary OS. Elementary OS 7 has just released. So Elementary OS 7 is based on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS and it ships with GNOME Web 43. There's been a ton of optimizations and improvements in this one and I would say the overall look and feel is a little bit better. If you haven't checked this one out and you're currently using Elementary OS, you might want to get on this one. And last up here, we're talking about Steam. The Steam client just got a massive update, and so did the Steam Deck client. For the Steam client, there's been a bunch of bug fixes and a bunch of improvements, and for big picture mode, it's been made the default experience. 
If you're on Linux and you have an NVIDIA GPU, the big picture mode absolutely still sucks. And I can tell you that from experience. And finally, for the Steam Deck client, there's also been a whole bunch of bug fixes and a whole bunch of improvements. It's a big update. For the keyboard, they added up and down cursor keys to the on-screen keyboard. And they also added the ability to move the standalone and overlay keyboard. And on top of that, for controllers here, the controller configuration browsing screen can now preview configurations. And the selection process is now previews, then applies instead of directly selecting the configuration. In my opinion, Valve is doing things right with the Steam Deck. Yes, there are still some issues here and there, but at the same time here, they're making this thing better and better with every update. The Steam Deck is still a great pickup in 2023. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. We talked about a bunch today. Let me know your thoughts about absolutely any of it in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state.